I decided I wanted to be a scientist at a very young age. I grew up in the south side of Chicago, and on the shores of Lake Michigan were all kinds of limestone rocks that the city had put there for erosion, and they were filled with fossils. And so originally I wanted to be a paleontologist. As I grew up and I went to middle school, I discovered science fiction in the library. And as I read the science fiction and learned about these fanciful voyages of young men and women going out into space, it was the same time as the Apollo astronauts were landing on the moon. And so I decided I wanted to be an astronaut. Well, in fact, I got to be an astronaut and do science in space, both out of the space shuttle doing astronomy with telescopes, but also doing spacewalks to repair the Hubble Space Telescope. And so one of the things I found is that to be successful, whether it's to be you know, happy in your life with your family or to be successful working with a team of engineers, communication is critical. Life is not you know, a smooth trajectory of you know, one success after another, but in fact it's, it's sometimes you know, when you try something hard and it doesn't work that you learn more from than when you learn something and it just goes smoothly. Something breaks, you learn how to fix it and you move on. And so that's kind of how I look at the, the hurdles that life throws at us, is you know, that's a chance to overcome something difficult. Astronauts often give young people advice about follow what you love, find something you're passionate about. And that's good advice, but it's only the first part of the advice, and maybe not even the most important part, that you're gonna find out that something that you're really interested in, whether it's art or writing or science, it's gonna be really hard no matter what you choose. But get through it, study hard, do your homework, follow the path that you think you really wanna go on, and even though you're gonna find obstacles, and I found plenty, uh, the rewards are worth it. Keep that wonder and awe. You know, we live on an incredible planet, we have to take care of that incredible planet. But find you know, what you love and, and try and focus on that and you'll, you'll do well. Thank you.